everyone, my name is Alexa and I'm a nature interpreter at the Gorge Waterway Nature House. Welcome to our video series featuring native plant species within Esquimalt Gorge Park. We'll be providing identification information, fun facts, and traditional uses of a new species each week. This week we'll be talking about Sawal. The Gorge Waterway Action Society acknowledges and respects the Lukungan speaking peoples on whose traditional and unceded territory we work on, known today as the Songhees and Esquimalt First Nations. They and other First Nations, such as the Souk and Wasainich peoples, have deep historical relations to the land that continue to this day. Today we are going to highlight an amazing and well-known shrub. Salal is one of the most common shrubs in second growth forests, which is a very common forest type on BC's southern coast. Its leaves are dark green and oval shaped, with a thick leathery feel, and they grow in an alternating pattern along each branch. When in bloom, the flowers hang down like small white pendants, and its berries are small and dark purple, and have fine hairs on them. The shrub grows aggressively and can often form dense patches of growth. Salal can reach heights of 2 meters tall. Salal is an important plant for many indigenous groups of coastal BC. The berries are sweet and high in essential nutrients. They can be and were eaten fresh or dried and were often baked into cakes for winter storage. Berries were also utilized by some indigenous peoples for dyes and fruit leather. The Haida people used them as a thickener for salmon eggs. When trading, the berries were often mixed with other berries to preserve them for longer. If you've never eaten a salal berry, be prepared for a mealy texture as a result of lots of tiny seeds. In a study by local UVic professor Peter Constable, salal berries were found to have significantly higher levels of healthy antioxidants than many of the more common berries we eat today, in some cases up to five times higher than blueberries, which are known for their high antioxidant content. The leaves of the salal were also useful for indigenous peoples. The shrub is an evergreen, meaning it keeps its leaves year-round, which made it a staple in the winter months. The foliage of these shrubs was often used to line cooking pits to add flavor, and the Dididat people would chew the leaves as a form of thirst suppressant. The leaves were also used to make tea to soothe a sore throat and stomach upset, or place on wounds and cuts. As for wildlife, the berries of the Salal are browsed by many kinds of birds and mammals. Hummingbirds have been known to visit the flowers. The leaves of the Salal are consumed by deer and elk, especially in the winter months, when other food is scarce. These creatures, as well as other small animals, use the shrub cover for protection, resting, and sleeping. In order for Salal to grow well in the understory, it needs to be shade tolerant. It is also capable of growing in nutrient-poor soil, making it a good option for spaces where growing conditions might be suboptimal for other native species. It is useful in restoration work as it is a native plant and also grows aggressively, which can aid in the maintenance of invasive species. It is clear this is a crucial and interesting species, both traditionally and today. In the Esquimalt Gorge Park, you can find the Salal in the undergrowth of some of the forest as well as in a couple patches along the creek. Thank you for listening.